Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Get up, get up, sing with me, my friend. Olivia believes in dreams. Noah lives his dreams. We are the dreamers, come along, you'll see. Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Get up, get up, sing with me, my friend. Our dreams are the world we live in. We create the dreams we believe in. We are the dreamers and we love to dream. Kids high from A to Z, from east to west. I'm Hannah! And welcome back to Dream Again. Do you see what I'm looking through? Yes, that's correct. It's a window. Wait, hold on, hold on one second. I'm gonna come over here. There. Now you can see me. Kids, do you know what a window is made of? Yeah, exactly. It's made out of glass. There are other things made of glass too, right? Like this glass right here out of which I drink my water. Or this bottle in which I have my water in. But did you know that glass is made out of sand? Wait, hold on. It, it was all the way down in our closet there. Kids, this is the sand that I've been collecting on all our beach trips. Wait, but how is it possible that sand turns into glass? Kids, do you know? Let's find out, okay? For glass to be made, you have to melt sand first. Think of how sand is like sugar. They are both made up of small grains that look like tiny crystals. If you put sugar in a pan and melt it on the stove, it changes from solid into a liquid. When it cools and turns back into a solid, it is still sugar, but it is in a different form. Now, it's like hard candy. Melted sugar has something else in common with glass because sometimes it can be transparent or see-through. If we melt sand, just like sugar, we make glass. Almost. It takes a much hotter temperature to melt sand. Sugar, for example, melts at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Sand must be heated to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit in order for it to melt. And once it is molten or melted, it can be shaped or molded into all the products we know. Like your glass or the glass bottle, or the window. Wow, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Now kids, have you heard of stained glass? No? Why don't we go to the arts and crafts studio and see what Noah and Olivia are up to? Hi kids, are you really excited for a new arts and craft? <gasps> I'm kind of curious what we're gonna do today because yeah. you have had sealed lips all week <laughs> and didn't tell us anything. <laughs> It's a secret. It is. But now it's time to reveal the secret. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to be quite mm -hmm. exciting. Do you know what stained glass is? No, I don't. Hmm. Well, have you ever seen maybe a soda bottle? They're probably plastic, but have you ever seen like a soda bottle that's maybe green or like Sprite where it's like a little bit green and a little bit clear? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Okay, so it happens a lot in older buildings, but it can happen in modern buildings. People take the glass and basically they dye it different colors so that when you look through it, the glass, the light shines through it. It's based like a rainbow in your glass. <gasps> a yeah. rainbow in our glass? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can paint all sorts of pictures in the glass. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take these clear plastic, they're not glass so that we don't break them, but okay. plastic figures and we are going to stain them. <gasps> yeah. So this is stained mm -hmm. glass. Yeah, and then... Well, stained plastic, yeah. but usually it would be called stained glass. Yes, yeah. it's basically stained glass. We just don't want to cut ourselves. Okay. And then when you finish it, we can hang it up in the window and the light will shine through it and it will be all pretty. And sometimes... I don't know if it'll happen with ours or not, um, but in real stained glass, when the light shines through the window, you can like look at the floor or the wall behind you and you can see the colors on the floor or the wall. Whoa. Yeah, that's it's pretty really, cool. really cool. So, so it's kind of the light reflecting through the different colors. Yep, yep, completely, completely. Huh. I have a question though. Mm -hmm. What kind of paint do we use? Just normal paint? <laughs> 
Oops. Um, actually, today we are going to use stain. Yeah. So, stain? Mm -hmm. So let me show you. Okay, so this right here, see how dark this is? Yeah, well, dark, I mean, those are different colors, or but they're ve it's very thick. Thick, yeah, like you can't see through it at I all, I can't right? see through it. Yeah, no, it's I very can't. solid. Solid's a better word. It's how yeah. solid it is. Yeah, solid. Now, do you see this one? Oh. See how it's like a little bit it's lighter, bit, like a little clearer? Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it, it seems a little bit watery based or clear yeah. and see through. Yeah, so this is actually stained, so we're going to take our little we have little special sticks just like this uh-huh and we're gonna dip them in the stain and then put it on the thing and you spread it out with the stick and then you let it sit overnight but but don't worry if you don't have stain you can do this with watercolors <gasps> mm -hmm. watercolors so yeah okay so you don't want to use you don't these are like poster paints you would want to use watercolors they're usually they're solid and yeah and you can just put water in them your mom and dad will know what watercolors are yep. they're probably the ones you have because they're I like them. They're really easy to use and you can mix the colors good. They're great. Oh, you're back again. Are you working on your stained glass art project? Well, while it's drying, I have a cool fact for you. Okay, so kids, you know what's so great about glass like this? It can be recycled again and again and again and again. It can be reused and is much better for our environment. I'm sure you heard about so much plastic destroying our environment. And if we stop using plastic altogether and just use glass bottles like this, in the future, it's going to help our planet. Pretty cool, huh? Will you try to use some more glass bottles at home? Yeah? Nice. Well. Let's check in with Noah and Olivia again. I'm sure their stained glass project should be done by now. <laughs> and here we are again! Yay! Hi, kids! So, kids, our stained glass ornaments mm -hmm. are now dry, and yeah. we can show them to you. Yeah, look, nice and dry. Boop, 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 I'm boop, super boop. excited. Why don't you show the kids first? Okay. So, here's my princess. I'm holding up the paper behind her so that you can see the colors wow. better. Because, yeah. You made your princess all blue. Yeah, I thought you might like that. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Look, I made the prince pink and green just yeah. for you. He looks great. And then this is our unicorn. And we did that one together, <gasps> didn't we? Ooh, yeah. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at how yellow. I know. And I love her hair. It's pink and blue and a little bit green. Yeah, and she has the yellow body and it kind yeah. of it works, right? Because the yeah. princess is blue mm -hmm. and the prince is pink and green. Yeah. And she's yellow. Yeah, it's like all the colors. Yeah. Oh, we have like a rainbow that will be shining through our window. Exactly. That's so neat. That is so neat. Ooh, let's, let's go hang them up in the window. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, okay. Get this one. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's That's go. Fun. Wow, that looks amazing. Kids, did you make stained glass art as well? We would love to see them. Just send it in to our Instagram or Facebook page. Cool? But you know what? I'm still baffled of how we make glass out of sand just like this. Pretty cool. Well, kids. That's it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye! If you like what you see on Dream Again, be sure to hit the subscribe button and like us.